Teens in the Park Fest is now in the ninth year. It's the largest platform for Chicago's young artists to showcase their talent, connect to resources, and celebrate one another. Producer, actor, and activist Latarian Perry joins us now with all of the details. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. So. You're a good. You're a good spokesperson for this because you are a young actor in the business and working your way up, right? Yes. Yes, I actually am. Um, I originated in 2017, but uh, this is the ninth annual TIFF Fest. So TIFF Fest stands for Teens in the Park, uh, founded by an organization called John Waltz Foundation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So pretty much the foundation, they help uplift upcoming artists and they give them a platform to pretty much shine. We're really trying to showcase the next talent, the big thing out of the Midwest. Okay, so they have been auditioning and performing uh, on several different levels before making it to this point, correct? Yes, these are actually the finalists. So we had earlier this summer, we had a competition to where we had a couple of teams and upcoming artists come out and we had a couple of judging. Um, I'll actually be one of the judges this year for the uh, finalists. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited and the winner actually will receive money. Oh, like money. Oh, yeah, that's money, nice. money. How much money? I can't say just okay, yet. Okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. Now, are we talking, because we're looking at some video, so are they mostly singers, rappers, or they're... So it's actually anything in the entertainment industry. We will have dancers there, poets there, um, pretty much whatever you do in the entertainment industry, we're trying to really show, show people that no matter what you do, it's all under one umbrella, pretty okay. much, and uh we're here to help. So in addition to getting the prize money, do you also get a chance to meet other people who might be able to further your career beyond? Yes, yes. Uh, so this year, our headliner is G Herbo, uh, mm -hmm. Chicago Zone. Mm -hmm. So he will be there as well. Plus myself and I will also have a Emmy Award winning producer, Gary Mills. And a lot of people don't know, but they're hearing it here first. The winner not only will they receive money, but they also will be able to have a chance to record on a soundtrack for an actual film. Oh, oh wow. wow. What a great it's a experience. Nice. Holy yes. cow. I mean, there's so much talent in the city of Chicago. How many kids came out for this? Like, how do you guys narrow it down? <sighs> we don't. We try to really keep it open. It is free um, for ages 14 to 24, so it's really open. That's why we keep it outdoors so that we can keep it open to the community and that there's no, like, cut off on Oh, we hit capacity. So we're really trying to showcase. And last year, I believe it was like around 2,500 people that came out. So we want to grow every year. You got any success stories you can share with us? Because this is the ninth year you've done this now. Yes, yes. Um, not just just yet, but okay, this year will be it. our biggest one this far. Okay. So. okay. All right. Well, so what do you got projects working on, too? Because you're also a director, right? I am. Well, I am a film producer, okay. and I also am a first assistant director, and I work in so many different avenues in this industry. But, yes, November 4th, you all will be able to stay posted for the final release of The Come Up, which I was the executive producer and producer for that was shot here in Chicago, Illinois. Oh, very right, cool. Tell us about it. Give us a little uh, yeah. synopsis. Yes, what... so a quick little log line. It is about four upcoming teenagers that use slam poetry to navigate their increasingly difficult lives here in Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Slam poetry. I feel like poetry, spoken word poetry, is getting so much bigger. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is. And uh, due to Jay Ivey yes. and the Emmys, mm -hmm. I mean, and the Grammys, we're really trying to navigate and focus there as well. And hopefully, who knows, maybe this could win a Grammy. Ah. And you also, in the film side, are acting, stunt double. I, I mean, do, you, I do. You're wearing many hats, my friend. I am. I originated as an actor in 2017, and one of my characters on The Shy had a stunt, and the stunt coordinator, Chris Nolte, Love the guy. Uh, he pretty much asked me if I wanted to do it. I had just turned 18. I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> uh -huh. And I, ever since then, I fell in love with it. And then I became Jacob Lattimore's full-time stunt double for the show, seasons one to season four. Okay. Um, took a step back because I'm trying to focus slowly now on myself Your and career, as a producer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. Well, me. look at that. Well, Tari, thank you so much for being there. here. We appreciate it. Uh, the Teens in the Park Fest is this Saturday, September 7th from 12 to uh, 4 p.m. It's at Northerly Island, so check it out. You can see the social media handles as well as his Instagram, which is fun to look at some of the pictures on there, too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you.